Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Oh, soulmate energy. Oh, let's get one more. So you could feel a very strong soul tie with this person. Two of Cups energy with paradise and soulmate energy being here, okay? And then we have boat energy, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Interesting. You know, here's the deal. I know this says closure issues, but with the surrounding energy, it just seems like to me, <laughs> somebody's moving on. I don't know whether they got closure or not here. You could be moving on to a new soulmate. Somebody could feel like their soulmate is moving on from them, okay? Their masculine or their feminine could be moving on. Either way, it looks like somebody's pretty pretty happy or they're about to be very happy, okay? So let's, let's look at the tarot and see what this is about. Something you want is coming. Be open to receiving that, okay? What it is, what it is that you're looking for, somebody has it. Whatever it is that you need when it comes to love and a connection, this person has it, okay? Two of swords, interesting. Some, so some form of decision, a difficult decision, very difficult decision here, the moon, cancer energy. Hmm. Four of swords, so unable to make a decision here. Somebody doesn't know what they want to do. You could be an air sign or your person could be an air sign. We have a masculine out here who is in King of Swords energy. And that just means with this King of, I'm sorry, not King of Swords, King of Cups. Excuse me. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign. But this here is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? So this is someone here who had a, re somebody is moving on from something. Yeah. Definitely somebody's moving on from something. And I feel like it's this masculine with this Ten of Swords. There's a masculine getting ready to move on from an ending. Somebody's gracefully bowing out. You can see from this card, someone here is like, okay, I'm bowing out to this show. I'm done. Uh, I feel like this masculine is somebody you can trust. Maybe this masculine is the one having a hard time making a decision. And the, de the decision to end something here didn't come so quickly. This masculine is not getting a lot of sleep either. They've been, they've been pretty stressed out and they're tired of being stressed out about something. This masculine is somebody who, who who's very generous. They're very kind, right? King of Cups energy is somebody here who's very, uh, someone trustworthy, okay? Someone very loving. They're not afraid to show their emotions. They wear their heart on their sleeve, okay? They're someone that I feel like you can trust, okay? <laughs> this is somebody here who, who could be a creative. Um, someone you could feel very passionate about. So with every ending comes a new beginning. Somebody's leaving, getting ready to, someone's ready to leave the past behind. This masculine is moving on and they're ready to leave the past behind. They're gracefully bowing out of a situation here. They they now have the confidence to do so. All right. Maybe this, I feel like for a good little while, this person didn't make the decision to move on from whatever the situation is, but it looks like they're being courageous enough to do so now. With this Knight of Wands being out here. They're about to take action. Okay. They know what they need to do. Just this Libra energy here. Yeah. They know what they need to do. They're fighting for whatever it is that they know is right. They, this person has not given. Yeah, this person is fighting. Thank you, Spirits. Justice card in the Nine of Cups. This person's looking. I feel like this is a new energy you haven't met. So for a lot of you all, this is probably a new energy, a new masculine that you haven't met here. But, you know, take what resonates, okay? This is a wish fulfillment. Somebody's been dreaming. That's why this person can't get sleep. Somebody here could have like a call. Is it call your mix? I think it's a call your mix. Somebody could have a call your mix dog, black and white. Hmm. Somebody here could also work in the legal field. They don't have to. Show me more. Somebody, this masculine is wishing and praying and hoping for something here. Show me more. Yeah, they're definitely moving on. Six of swords. I'm telling you, this person's moving on. Somebody here is progressing and moving away from a situation. They're put, They're ready to just leave the past behind them. You know, they know that. I feel like for a while, this masculine 
just didn't know what they wanted to do or they weren't ready to make a decision. Now this masculine is feeling pushed to make this decision or they're in the process. I really feel like they're in the process here. They're moving towards a, a queen of pentacles. Okay, they are moving towards a queen of pentacles. Hmm. Huh. This person is actually happy that they're doing this though. This like a, this is like a sigh of relief for this masculine. Show me this queen of pentacles energy, please. Clarify this queen of pentacles energy. Let's just see what this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, page, page of Cups, a new person. Page of Cups, a new person. Definitely a new person. This masculine is going to have feelings for you. They're going to express these feelings to you. I'm telling you, all right? They may, this is, could be communication, all right? When they see you, I feel like they're going to tell you. They're wearing their heart on their sleeve. They're not afraid to express their emotions to you when they meet you. Why is the moon card here, though? I feel like this is past energy. The moon cancer energy why is the moon here the yeah because this person is afraid to walk away that's what this person like i said for a while this person had to walk away from something else to 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 we the nine of cups is already here by the way which is future energy so like we said this masculine cancer pisces scorpio or air sign for some of y'all but this person could really be any sign okay there this person knows they're they're in a stuck i believe that this person was in a situation they were stuck for a very long time they were indecisive of in a situation they weren't very happy with it they didn't feel fulfilled anymore you know now this person's on a new conquest they had a very awful ending and they could have even had a situation where trust was an issue with somebody else. They could have been betrayed by somebody here that they were in a connection with. So keep that in mind. But now this person is like coming out of this stuck energy, this two of swords energy, and they're ready to move on with their life. They are, you know, just gracefully bowed out of a pretty bad situation. Now they're about to go on into this new path. And again, somebody's got a dog here. Another card with a dog in it. Maybe you and this person have a dog. Because this person in this Eight of uh, Cups has a brown, a small um, terrier mix, looks like. Brown dog. So maybe that could resonate for you somehow. Spirit is guiding this person to go ahead and make this decision to bow out of this situation gracefully and move on. So you're probably getting ready to meet a new person who is your soulmate, who is you're going to enjoy like everything with this person. This is going to be a partnership, pretty equal give and take. They're going to be they this person has what you need to so this person. They are looking for a wish fulfillment, something that they've been wait, waiting for, something they've been praying for. This is like energy of them looking for the right partner. But they couldn't find the right partner because they were stuck in a situation where they did not belong. And so they're finally making the decision to move away from it. They've been guided to do so. Something definitely happened where this person was betrayed. So that helped push this person along. All right. So it's, a, uh, it's up to you if you resonate as this Queen of Pentacles. Make sure you have an open heart and you're receptive to it, which I believe that you will be. You will be. Okay. What's the, why is the Justice card here? Justice card. I didn't know. Why is the Justice card here? That came out too quick. Why is the Justice card here, please? There we go. Yeah. Somebody's getting justice over a situation, five of swords, where the situation just didn't serve them anymore. And they're realizing that and they're releasing their attachment to this person. Like I said, they're just done with it. They're ready to move on. Mm -hmm. Something is about to be made right. <laughs> Spirit is making it just so this person can take the opportunity to leave they are leaving things are being put in place for this person to be able to do so spirit is making it easier for this person to move oh move on and away from whoever this was that they were dealing with okay eight of swords yeah this person is realizing they're not stuck and they're free and like i said now they're making up their they're working up the courage to release themselves because i feel like they weren't seeing things clearly and now this person's like 
oh, I can breathe, I can sigh, like, it, you know, like, this person's feeling free. Yeah. Let me get one more here for us. This masculine. Two of pentacles. Ooh, there was a lot of back and forth. There was a lot of back and forth. Yeah, this could be a busy person. This is somebody here who's a workaholic. This person may run, um, may have like multiple businesses or they may have like multiple roles or something. I feel like this person's very busy. It's a juggling act for this person. So this person tends to keep busy. Okay. They tend to keep themselves very busy. So, so make sure you understand that. All right, Knight of Swords, very smart person here. Quick movement, all right? So somebody here is making a quick decision, all right? This is a very logical person. A lot of twos here. Two, two, two is here, by the way. Somebody's making a quick decision. They're, they're being bold about this choice that they're getting ready to make. I'm telling you, somebody's ready to just move on to something better, I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Sagittarius energy here. Huh. Jeez. Ace of Swords. Somebody is seeing with this with this temperance and this Ace of Swords energy that there's a better way. And they are ready. They're ready for the progress. This person may have experienced some bumps in the road, but I feel like they're going to come out of that. Three of Pentacles is here now on the bottom of the deck. This person is definitely, they whatever it is that they do for work, I'm telling you they work a lot. They work quite a bit. Um, You could be dealing with a Pisces here. I don't use this deck very often, but this is really... The hangman energy. I don't know why I got temperance any energy out of this. So somebody is, is getting clarity, like we basically just said. This person is getting clarity on how to deal with the situation or how to move forward. They like it's like spirit is opening a door or opening their mind to a different perspective, or they're starting to see there is a way out of this. It's like an aha moment, you know. Let's see what this person may look like. Because I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody here who is. Uh-oh, who's new? What's this person look like here? Meeting your soulmate. So this is like, feels like the first time we've done a reading about somebody you haven't met. So for some of you, this person could have hazel eyes. Okay, that could be an indication. Definitely a dog. Somebody here could have black, long black hair or long blonde hair. Pretty average height person, but but very well dressed and well kept. Could be dealing with a yeah, tall. Yeah, okay. So so some of you all, this person could be tall, and some of y'all, this person could be average height. But I feel like someone here wears suits. Somebody here could also have curly, long hair as well, and someone here has a beard. All right, a beard. And some of y'all, this you could have short hair or this female could have short hair, okay? And someone here could wear contacts. They don't wear glasses. They probably, they need glasses, but they don't wear the glasses or they wear contacts, okay? I know that's real random. <laughs> All right, so what else does the collective need to know about this person they haven't met yet? <laughs> This person is just realizing their self-worth and they're now in a in a position where they, they've been doing a lot of shadow work. They've been healing. They've been working on, they, are, they realize that they were the cause of their stagnation or they were the cause of, of why things hadn't grown in this last connection. Like doing the same thing or dating the same person type energy. They were re realizing like that wasn't working out for them. So now they are ascending. Yeah, they're ready to grow and move on. 
they've learned quite a bit through this and now they're ready for a new phase of life and they're preparing for union with their new soulmate here so this could be something this person already went through and with this knight of swords energy this could be what's getting ready to come in for you and spirit just wants you to be aware of that keys on a ring I feel like this person has moved on. For some of y'all, this person could be a retired player or a retired playette. Somebody who's not looking for just anything, one night stand, anything casual. You know, they definitely had options back in the day. Yeah, they did. Let's see. Yeah, they're not. I'm telling you, this person is ready to get married. They, <laughs> they're they looking for their forever partner here. Wedding rings. I'm telling you, eternal love, everlasting promise, soul connection, union, coming together. Yeah. I'm telling you, this person wants to date. I'm telling you, look at this clarity. Clarity, the truth. This person is going to communicate with you what they want dates hammer i'm telling you man this person's going to be willing to court you date you take you out be a gentleman or you know cook you dinner if they're a woman whatever it is that they do they're ready to court and date they are um for some of you all this new person could be a twin flame for others of you this person is a soulmate this person is really going to like you there's going to be a lot of fun with this person and like again like i said they're really going to express that to you with the i like you energy here this is definitely somebody here who um for some of you this is not for everybody but you could have a twin flame come back chasing after you if you meet this person maybe some of you all have already met this soulmate right um, but if that's not the case, you could be, for some of you, be dealing with a twin flame. Mm. All right. Pretty good reading. I mean, right now, you know, like I said, you could be dealing with any zodiac sign, but, you know, um, love by Kendrick Lamar is playing right now. Just love me. All right. <laughs> so maybe there's a message in that for you but i feel like this reading was definitely about somebody that you are getting ready to meet now could it be possible that you're going to meet somebody here i mean you're going to introduce somebody from the past this ended something and it was very difficult they didn't make the decision there was some stuck energy for a long time and they're finally coming towards you possibly but i just feel a strong energy of this is somebody new okay so just take it how it resonates, all right? I love you guys so, so much. Um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.